And yeah, it's spring. It tis the season for a good clear out. Hello fam, welcome to my terribly lit apartment. You know, there's not a lot of things that I would definitely say I am good at, but my friends, this one is for the hoarders. This week I did my big sort of seasonal wardrobe declutter and I started filming a few bits and then I kind of got thinking that I actually do really have this routine on lock now. These are kind of my top tips, especially if you really do love fashion. For example, me, I'm constantly showing you guys new stuff, but this still makes me feel like I'm having fun with my wardrobe. I'm not depriving myself of like what the things that I want, but I'm also just being really selective. And yeah, I thought I'd just share my tips. Let's just get right into it. Number one most important thing when you're doing your declutter is to be emotionally detached. Flip the switch, people. I know it's hard to do. I flipped mine about three or so years ago. It really is just a mental decision you have to make if you're really gonna to commit to like having less things. And it's just to completely remove the emotional attachment to the item, the object. If it's a TV, if it's a table, if it's a piece of clothing, that thing has no feelings for you, so you should not have feelings for it. Grab the item, ask yourself if you've worn it in the last three, four, six months, year. If you haven't, it needs to go on the ground pile to be possibly enjoyed by somebody else. And even if you're really unsure about whether you wanna get rid of it or not, just put it in the pile and honestly, you'll be surprised at how different you'll feel about it like an hour later, even a day later. So just throw it in the pile. Second thing you wanna ask yourself when you pull something out of the wardrobe is, is this actually my style anymore? So if you really can't envision that piece working with the style you wanna have or the style you're working towards, then just get rid of it. Again, don't be sentimental about it. Don't think about how much you spent on it. It needs to go. It's just taking up room in your wardrobe put it in the pile. Tip number three for keeping your wardrobe super decluttered, and this is something that has really helped me in the last like year and a half, it's part of my unlock routine, and that is just to have a bag purely for like seasonal items, items that don't carry all the way through the year. So super summery stuff like holiday clothes, high summer clothes, and then thinking about like extremely winter type clothes. So for example, this week I took out my summer bag. As you can see, it's just a regular shopping reusable bag. I try and keep it sort of small and you'd be really surprised about how much you can actually fit into one of these bags. So don't be fooled. And these are all things that I put away and hid away at the top of my wardrobe at the end of last summer when I started to get in cold. And now the great thing about having this bag of things is it's full of like my summer classics, things I never want to get rid of, but also also things that I wasn't sure about last time around so when I take things out of the bag it's like another chance for me to evaluate what I have so I go through it all again I see okay is there something that I liked at the end of last season but now I don't like it anymore I take it out I add it to the pile and I just put up the rest of my summer stuff inside my wardrobe, hang it up nicely. So now my bag is full of my favorite winter bits. So like my favorite winter jumpers, like expensive ones, uh, just ones I really love. My leather leggings, my leather pants. Yeah, things like knitwear take up a lot of space in the wardrobe. So just having them packed away somewhere else means it frees up a ton of real space. Real space is like real estate. Next tip I would say is just to analyze your least worn genre of clothing. So for me, that is like clubbing wear, going out wear, occasion wear. I really don't get invited to much like weddings or like parties. I don't go clubbing that often. So that's like the kind of clothing that is least worn by me. So I really wanna like reflect that in my wardrobe. I don't want tons of party dresses and occasion wear when that's the stuff that I wear literally the least. So for me, I like to keep sort of two to three special occasion things, like a nice cocktail dress, just super classic. And I'll never feel like I've worn this a million times and feel bad about it, you know? So those, those are there. And honestly, when it comes to clothes for going for drinks or going clubbing, like, I don't know about you, but I'm a jeans and a nice top kind of gal. Now that you have decluttered and you have those piles on the ground, separate what really needs to go in the trash. My mom used to work in a charity shop or a thrift shop if you're here in America for years and she would just come home with the most horrific stories about people throwing like their dirty underwear, their dirty clothes, their ripped clothes, things that nobody could ever wear or would want to handle ever. So if you are putting away things for charity, make sure they are clean, nicely folded and in good nick. Nobody wants freaking clothes with holes in them, okay? Pack that shit up, have a funeral, do what you need to do, 
but then just get rid of it. The last good tip I have for maintaining a decluttered wardrobe all year round and kind of in between those really big clear outs like the one I've just done this week is to follow the get in get out sort of rule I guess and that for me is I'm really adamant about doing this. I'm not like ridiculously strict with it but I am super aware and conscious of it at all times is that if I've bought something new I need to get rid of something else. This is definitely a really good tip for maintaining that sort of order and it also makes your like big seasonal clear out a little easier as well and that my friend is how you declutter a wardrobe. I don't know about you I'm really in the mood to online shop right now because my wardrobe's half empty and you know what We'd have nothing to declutter if we didn't keep buying things, right? Thanks for watching, see you all in the next one.